Well, good morning, everyone. A happy new year. Happy uh, Monday morning to you. The first full Monday of uh, the new year. Looks like we're going to be giving you an extended forecast here on CBS 8 plus where you can get all that you need to know for today as well as the rest of the week where we have more wet weather on the way. If you were outside at all for New Year's Eve into New Year's Day and you stayed up through midnight, you probably saw some rain that came through. It was a decent rainfall event for us. We saw several inches along the coast and even inland. Today we're going to be sticking with dry skies, but the unsettled weather is going to stick with us. So let's take a look at what to expect over the course of the day today. Upper 50s and low 60s for your inland valleys along with your coastline. We should stay dry all the way through at least about 7, 8 p.m. And then we've got another rainfall event that's going to occur tonight into early tomorrow. 40s for the mountains. They're staying on the colder end. Still a few showers that are kind of squeezing on through. Atmospheric river, it is not leaving us. We've got another two atmospheric rivers to go. This first one is already hitting Northern California. It will keep traveling south from there, and that's where late tonight into early tomorrow we've got more rain on the way. Behind that, it will kind of be reinvigorated, and we'll see another wave come through for Wednesday night, and then for us, that will arrive on Thursday. So tonight into tomorrow, mainly Tuesday, and then again on Thursday are the days that we are watching out for closely. We got these kinds of photos over the course of the weekend. Plenty of wind that came through as well. A windy new year as people try to use their umbrellas unsuccessfully with that rain coming through and the wind. So palm fronds on the ground and on some cars too. You can share your photos with us on the CBS 8 app. Uh, we love to see your submissions. We also got some submissions of snow in Julian and uh, out at Mount Laguna. So a uh, good snow event for our area mountaintops and of course for the skiers and snowboarders out of the snow resorts. Uh, let's take a look at uh, our rain chances daily. Again, best opportunities are going to come Tuesday and then again on Thursday. That's where your chance jumps dramatically. Now in between, we're still going to have a chance of rain for today and Wednesday, about 20 to 30 percent chance. But notice that that opportunity for rain dies down to the single digits for Friday, Saturday, even Sunday is pretty slim. So what it looks like right now is that we've got Tuesday and Thursday on hand for rain. And then beyond that, we're going to be mainly dry in the forecast moving toward your Friday and into this upcoming weekend. So if you're making weekend plans, you can successfully do so at this point without any wet weather interfering with those plans. Conditions outside right now here at the 9 a.m are in the 50s. These are going to keep warming, of course, to the upper 50s and low 60s, but at least to start off the morning, we're mostly uh, partly cloudy out there. We've got temperatures in the 50s to kick off the day. Want to give a mention to a high surf advisory that is now in effect. That's the purple here on your screen along the coastline all the way through 6 p.m. It looks like this was in effect last week as well. High surf along the coast along with the rainfall and the runoff from the rain uh, is what has led officials to encourage you to stay out of the water for the time being. This will of course uh, come along with more rain on Tuesday as well as Thursday. So this isn't going to be the best week to spend much time out there in the water, but next week it does look to remain dry. So you could get out there again. Again, high surf advisory expires at six. Looks like National Weather Service just issued a uh, wind advisory as well for our mountains and our deserts. This is from tonight into tomorrow as we've got more rain on the way. Let's time it out for you. I'll pause this at the first wave 630 PM on our Monday. So tonight at 630 we could start to see more rain back in the forecast. This is going to be a very quick moving initial wave and then take a look at the overnight rain event that we're expecting to last a little bit longer. 11 p.m. First couple showers start to come along the coastline. It just kind of continues with this very unsettled weather pattern even through our Tuesday 530 a.m. A lot of people are going to get started with that morning commute to some wet roads and rain still coming down. Yellow showing moderate to heavy downpours that we could be seeing even some red that some of our earlier models had shown. By 5 p.m., not completely dry, but drier. So we should be seeing conditions still in the 50s out there, cooling down to the 40s uh, as far as your temperatures go. And then rain a little bit more spotty and intermittent as opposed to anything too widespread that we'll see into the evening of Tuesday. Wednesday is going to dry out quite a bit. And then again, Thursday is what we are watching out for. So this unsettled weather persists now to start off the new year and into the majority of this week. Here are your high temperatures for this afternoon. Upper 50s and low 60s, a high of 59 
59 degrees in Carlsbad, 57 in Poway, 55 in Ramona, and 43 in Julian. Mountains have stayed on the cooler end, and it looks like they could pick up on some snow, but still, those overnight lows are a little bit warm, so they may just see this come as a rain event. Even with the snow that they saw, it was lighter accumulations toward Julian, for example, compared to the ski resorts, right? Uh, let's take a look. The coveted eight-day forecast, we've got that rain Tuesday, Thursday, and then beyond Thursday, it does look to be mainly dry. So Friday through Sunday, even into Monday of next week, those skies are going to clear up. We'll get a little bit of sunshine on hand. Uh, keep in mind, those temperatures are kind of unfazed, so we're going to stay mostly in the low 60s from today all the way through Monday of next week. Mountains are going to stay in the 40s. They'll also see the rain and maybe some snow, but notice those overnight lows are not dropping all that much into the below freezing range, so we may keep it as rain for our area mountaintops. Deserts are going to stay in the 60s. They don't expect much for Tuesday. It looks like Thursday will come to fruition, though, for the deserts. Uh, for both Tuesday and Thursday, neither of these rain events look to be quite as intense as what we saw over the course of our New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. So expect lighter accumulations. This first round, tonight into tomorrow, we're expecting about half an inch. And then for Thursday, we're expecting three quarters of an inch to a full inch. So this will at least add to our totals, give us a generous amount to kick off this new year. Uh, although, keep in mind that drought still in full play, right? We need consistent rainfall, and this is just kind of a uh, uh, early winter that's starting off really well for us. Uh, we need to keep that momentum going throughout the rest of the uh, the new year. So along with the coastline and inland mountains and deserts, we'll see uh, drier skies as we go from Friday into the weekend and early next week. Remember, you can get all the latest in the forecast and text on our website. That's cbs8.com slash weather. You can stay on the CBS 8 app for more, you can also join us here on CBS 8 Plus, Roku TV, Fire TV for your extended forecast every day. Watch all of our Earth 8 reports and Zevely Zone stories as well. Thanks for being with us, though. In the meantime, we hope you all have a great Monday and a great new year.